Hey guys! Today's video is an April Pride Week, as you can tell by the title of this video. Sorry for my voice, I am recovering from a slight cold. The camera angle of this video is slightly lower or at an angle as my usual videos, so I'm sorry for that, but I'm pretty sure it gets better and further the video. So now let's get on to the video. So I'm going to be using this Tombow Fudenosuke. I don't know how to pronounce it at all, but this is one of my all-time favorite brush pads. It does not fray, and I am using the hard tip at the moment. I think the hard tip is one of the best because it you could just really control the brush while you're writing your calligraphy or anything else. And you're probably wondering what is the theme for this month, and it's more of an like a baby Totoro and Japanese characters. It's a little bit different than my normal type of setups, but I wanted to try something different this month. So all the supplies I use in this video will be linked in the description box as usual, so I don't have to name it throughout the video. Overall, I think the setup of the whole month turned out pretty well. I thought it might turn out very bad because I'm not very good at drawing characters like this, but overall, I really like how it turned out. So, I was trying to find the Tombo grid. I realized I haven't bought one, so I just cut out that clip, and I finally found one of my gray Krill Super Tips. And I was just checking of what part you color gray for your Totoro, because I was about to color the small area, and that probably would have looked really bad. I think it this kind of turned out. It's a little darker than I thought it would be, but I didn't have a lighter gray for a Krillin Super Tip or a Toppo. So now to finish up the cover page, I am just going to be using again that green and pink Tombow to finish up all the leaves and flowers. So right about this moment, I wanted to add a strip of washi tape across, but I decided not to because I actually don't work well with washi tape. It sticks all over me, and it just doesn't turn out how I want it to, because then if I try to rip it off, I'd probably rip my paper. So I decided just to leave that blank for now. So on to the next spread, this is my calendar spread and I have been sticking to a large calendar and I really like it. And over here I did add some washi tape and I actually kind of like how it turns out. It's not my favorite favorite, but I really like how I actually used washi tape for once. And this time for my large calendar spread, I am just adding a little little bar for like the number instead of putting it actually in like the box that I put my dates in in my events so overall I always do this I always add stickers and other s extra stuff after I film the video and I'm trying to stop that because I did add some really cute stickers that I received and I really like them. And later in the video, I do forget to do my Instagram and YouTube tracker. And I really like how it turned out. And you guys will probably see a post of it on my Instagram. So check the description to get that link. So anyways, in the other page of my Plan With Me, at the bottom you could not see it. And 
I'm so sorry for that, but I just wrote spring and a couple other flowers like my cover page. So this habit tracker, it's the big egg tracker page, is probably my favorite page out of all my spreads. I really like how I set this one up and just the style of it. So I'm super proud of this page and I really hope you guys like it too. So you'll probably be seeing this one on my Instagram too. So also, again, uh, another shapeless self promo. Check out the description box to see and find that link. So to fill up the excess space, I didn't really know what to do. So for a while, I kept on thinking what I should do. And I kind of just went in with a quote. And I found this online. I kind of just basically searched up habit tracker quote. And for my habit tracker, I am trying a different layout. I think this will work because... Off camera, again, I do fill in the habits, and it actually doesn't look that bad. I thought it might collide with my title, but it actually really doesn't. So now I actually realize the next page I am going to be showing you is actually the last. It is a weekly spread, and I actually am really in love with this spread so much. So this... For this weekly spread, I decided to use washi tape, and I actually really like how it turned out. So I am getting more comfortable with washi tape, still a little scared from it. But this weekly spread, as I was going to about to say, I am putting my homework in a little section instead of making extra pages. Because whenever I'm in school and I kind of just turn to a homework thing, it takes too long. And I also want to look at my weekly and daily to-dos. So it's actually much easier. And I think this will be much, much easier for me when I am in school recording down my homework. So this one, I kind of eyeballed it. I didn't really want to count the lines. I was, my memory card was getting full and I was getting tired. It was at the end of the day because I procrastinated the whole week deciding if I wanted to film my video yet. And I finally did. And it was probably about four or five o'clock. And plan with me take a long time for me to film. So I kind of just counted the dots-ish, and I realized I wasn't going to have enough room for Saturday and Sunday, well, for Saturday. So I kind of just split it up, and for Saturday, I probably am not going to have much because I am going on a trip for spring break, and I'm super happy about that. So I probably won't have a video for you guys that week, and I'm really sorry about that because I really wanted to film another one for you guys but next week i will be studying so you never know i might have a study with me but anyways sorry for these breaks i do have other stuff to do in my life so again i did eyeball just the line for saturday and sunday this month, it was kind of more lazy, and I kind of just went for it. I kind of didn't really plan it out as much as I used to, but I think it actually looks pretty good. And I wanted to use a bootleg sticker, and it would not come off camera. Like, for some reason, it wouldn't come off its sticker sheet, and it bugged me so much. So later on, I eventually did get it off. And I'm pretty sure I got those at AliExpress, or my friend might have got them for me. I really don't know. I'll try and remember which pack it was from, and I'll link it down below as usual. And I looked at these Sumaco stickers, and they just really didn't match. And I'm pretty sure eventually I put down, like, a lavender flower. I really don't know what it is. I kind of like how it turned out, kind of did it. I kind of just went for it and didn't replace it. Uh, sometimes stickers are just too cute. You don't want to use them or maybe you're just scared too. And it's, that's basically my life when I use stickers. But recently, 
I am filming this voiceover much, well, not much later, but kind of later than I filmed this. And as I said earlier, I did make an Instagram and YouTube tracker. It was actually one full page, and I used these stickers I got from Paper Kubico. And next week's video is an unboxing one. It's pretty short, in my opinion, because I did just get a few items. But anyways, I really loved that video, so I can't wait till you guys see that video. And right now, I am taking my time and everything just to place one sticker, and I'm about to I was going to place one in my habit tracker. I don't know if I showed that already. But then I moved it because I realized it looked bad. And I didn't have room to write my habits then. So as usual, I'll be showing you my flip through and I really like overall how this plan with me turned out and I really hope you guys liked it and if you did, check out the description box for the items if you'd like to purchase them and leave a like and subscribe and anyways, I'll see you next time. Grazie. From moment to moment. Thank you.